Hi, I'm Carol Mack, and I'm here to share a story that changed my life. It's the story of how my 14-month-old son taught me how to face his diagnosis with more courage, peace, and acceptance than I ever thought was possible. So this story, it's a little tough, but I think it's worth a listen, and it certainly has inspired and changed my life on every single level. So I'm hoping that it'll help yours too. This all started about 12 years ago when I had TJ. I was a first time mom and oof, my only child and so excited. Went home with a healthy child and four months in, he didn't quite have the head control that other kids had. And I thought something might be wrong. The more we learned, yep, there was definitely something wrong. And we eventually had an appointment at the Cleveland Clinic. And we all got in this office room. It was just an intro appointment and we're standing in a circle and the doctor says, your son, TJ, he's not gonna see his second birthday. And I remember, I remember thinking like, yeah, I can't do this. I cannot do this, can't do this. Um, how am I gonna do this, right? And uh, I just was in panic and terror and agony. And I can remember driving home in the passenger side, driving home from that appointment and just being like in sheer pain. And I had this flash that came, it was like a divine flash that came to my mind. And just as we were in a, a circle in the doctor's office, these horses were in a circle in my head. And in the middle where TJ was, it was a ladybug. And we're sobbing because we just learned that TJ is gonna live a short life. And in my flash, the ladybug looks at the mom horse and says, mom, mom, why are you crying? Like, I don't understand what's wrong. Why are you crying? He says, I'm a ladybug. You guys are horses. And I only know how to be a ladybug. I don't know how to be a horse. And essentially like, and I'm okay. I'm, I'm all good over here. This is just what I'm supposed to do in my life. This is how it's supposed to go. And all of that was just known in an instant somehow intuitively. And I think it was just this divine, this divine inspiration that came to me. And it mirrored exactly how TJ operated on a day-to-day -day basis. I would just look in his eyes and his eyes and demeanor would say, mom, dad, I'm okay. Like I'm all good. Even though, yep, this, this is horrible and is hard and I'm good. We're okay. It's okay. And I thought, look, if TJ can fate, face his fate with this much peace and courage and wisdom and beauty, then I'm going to have to find a way to do it as well. So I got home from that appointment and I wrote the gift of the ladybug the next day in like an hour and a half. And I had it bound and read it to him for Christmas over and over and over. And uh, he became our ladybug, literally my community's ladybug. And we no longer saw him as a child who was sick. We saw him as a perfect ladybug who was on his own journey that was meant to be. And the freedom that came in that, I cannot describe. It, it absolutely changed my life from the inside out and it's changed my life forevermore. So I hope that um, the story has touched you in some way. And now the book is available for other families with children with diagnoses or critical illness or difficult medical differences. Um, I had the book published two years after TJ passed away on his birthday. And now I'm publishing a second edition in a hardcover and you guys have been asking for all this, so I'm so excited to do it. And the main character, Polka Dot, the ladybug of this book, it's hard to see with the zoom, but I got him stopped. Isn't he so gorgeous? So I created that guy. And so now we have a comfort kit with a hardcover and a stuffed polka dot for kids in hospitals or with diagnoses and for families who need it. And 2% of every sale goes to Make-A-Wish Foundation, which is also exciting. So if you know a child or a family that has had a difficult diagnosis or is, is dealing with critical illness or a really tough situation, then get them this sweet gift that tells them that they're not alone, that they can do this regardless of what this is and that they're going to be okay. And, um, or share this video and hopefully TJ taught us all this beautiful lesson of how to accept life exactly as it is. And, uh, thanks for watching.